ETA is here. Oh my gosh, look who's greeting us. Look at Ultimate Freena. Yeah, damn. Who has the better cheek so Bunny or Ultimate Freena? Let us know down below. Let's check out ETA. So you can sell blueprints, exchange infiltration operation reward, or exchange supplies. Now, if you sell a blueprint, they actually show you how much ETA voucher you're getting here. Now, the point I kind of touched on yesterday on stream was make sure you actually look at each ultimate, guys. Because if you take a look here, ultimate BS enhanced cells, as well as her spiral catalyst, are 15 ETA vouchers right now. Now, if we look at Valby, only three premium ETA vouchers. And then five ETA vouchers for her spiral catalyst. But maybe more... And even her code is only five, so it may be more beneficial to be looking for these Fiesta pieces since they're going to give you 15 versus the five on Valby's old pieces, for instance. Now, we just put them in there, right? Just put them all because we already have Val Ultimate Valby. So, we're 21 out of 600. You have a cap of 600 on your ETA vouchers. You can even register all duplicate ones. If I register all the duplicate ones that I have, we are over, over the cap <laughs> of 14.44 out of 600. <laughs> you also keep in mind, guys, if you it's not taking into account if you've already fully upgraded the unique ability on the item, as you'll see here with our smithereens, for example. So do you keep that in mind if you register to duplicate all items? It's not going to track the ones that you don't have fully maxed out. Do keep that in mind, but you will notice this symbol here, which means you already have it crafted for the first time to begin with. In that event, you should be good to get rid of those items. Look at this, look at all these. I know someone's, I know someone's still hurt and someone's looking for them. Like even Bunny, even Bunny stuff are lower. I don't know if this correlates to the percentage drop rate for the item. So we can actually double check that. So I'm gonna compare it with Bunny's Spiral Catalyst and Fiesta's Spiral Catalyst. Get 15 off her. So these to begin with. And get your premium ETA vouchers. Really quick before we get into the other systems. All right, so between all three, it takes 6% drop for her Spiral Catalyst. If you trade in the blueprint, it's giving you 15 ETA vouchers. Now, if we compare it with Bunny's Spiral Catalyst, you have up to 3% on these common ones. On Hard Pyro, you have 20. 20 out of both of those, and 20 here. So it could correlate with the percentage drop rate of the item. So the lower the drop rate is, so that 6% on the Viesa piece, it's making it worth more ETA vouchers. It does make sense. Now, in order to confirm that with some of the other ones, so this one's a 10 ETA voucher worth. About a 10% chance in here. So the 10% chance here, and then 3% chance here. It takes the highest chance in, you know, that particular activity. Down to 10 again. 10 on all of those. So here it shows Valby's Catalyst at 20. Take a look at that one as well. And it's 5. So it doesn't directly correlate to that. So do keep that in mind, guys. Right now at the moment, it'd be more beneficial getting any extra Viesa pieces from farming, if possible, as those are offering you 15. There's probably some more characters offering 15 for each item as well. You're kind of just going to have to take a look at that. But even with Valby, Valby's are pretty low. Three ETA vouchers, five, another three down there and then five for the code. You definitely get way more out of duplicate um, Ultimate Viesa pieces. So I don't know if it could be because it's a featured one for the week or what. But you're getting way more off any duplicates here. And getting into our exchange infiltration operation reward. Now these are these beautiful standard vouchers we're getting. You got equipment slots, precision code breakers. Um, you got some blueprints in here. There's Enduring Legacy in here, guys. There's an Energy Activator. There's some Stabilizers. 
and some hair dyes as well as some paint. Pretty nice. Now, if you do notice in the top right, you do have a purchase limit of one. So do make use of these each week. Now, a lot of these vouchers are obtained by simply playing through those invaded missions on the 400% of the infiltration operation. Now, we did make a video on that the other day. You can find that in the pinned comment down below. But now, if you take a look here, free energy activator blueprint, enduring legacy, Kingsguard, stabilizers. You can even get two equipment slots. It's funny, it's only two. And it costs 60 of the vouchers, but I digress. Um, you can get some free drip in here. Oh, we're out of vouchers now. Um, you can also get some of these. I'm also going to get the Divine Punishment Blueprint, just because. <laughs> we'll be farming more just to kind of clear out the whole shop. So not too crazy here. You can get everything each week, right as you kind of just regularly are playing the game. Now over in the Exchange Supplies, you get into those beautiful yellow vouchers or some more hard to come by ones depending on you know you have to sell your duplicate stuff to get it now here we actually have storage slot increase plus two for 60. you can increase your descendant slot as well as more stabilizers and other blueprints as well as the drip it's a pretty nice indeed picking up the hair dye guys recommend getting the hair dye get the drip unlocked well, let's increase your storage slots and your descendant slots. You should be good. Let me know down below. What do you guys think of ETA? Now, I think it's a nice change of pace for the game. Something to look forward to at the end of the week. We'll also make a video each week coming in to take a look at what's on the rotation for that week. We will see you in the next one. Also, Fallen Hope here. We still are chasing down that drop. Very nice. I, I think this should be good going forward. Hopefully they increase uh, the selection, though, because it could be shaft like here. You're not really getting final masterpiece. and You're not getting no smithereens in here. <laughs> you probably look to be skipping those. That's kind of all we have going over ETA zero inside of the first ascendant. And remember to slay and conquer.